It's umsum time. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Topic: Nuclear fusion. Huh? Why is nuclear fusion not used huh? to generate electricity? You really want to know the answer to this, right? <laughs> but wait. Before answering the question, let us understand what is meant by nuclear fusion. Huh? When two lighter nuclei combine to form no. a heavy huh? nucleus, a large amount of energy huh? is released. Huh? This process is huh? called nuclear fusion. Oh. Where hmm? does this nuclear fusion take place? You think huh? that it takes place in a laboratory? <laughs> No, you are absolutely wrong. Nuclear fusion takes place in the sun. The nuclei of two hydrogen atoms join together to form a heavy nucleus of helium with the release of a large amount of energy. How do you think this energy reaches us? Ah. <laughs> nah, it does huh? not reach us through power oh. lines. Wait, I will tell mm. you. The energy huh? released after nuclear fusion reaches us in the form of sunlight, ultraviolet radiations, heat, etc. Oh. Huh? Hey, but we're already producing electricity oh. with the help of nuclear fission. <laughs> So, huh? why do we require mm. nuclear fusion? For this, oh. you need to first understand the difference huh? between nuclear fusion oh. and nuclear fission. <laughs> As we already know, nuclear oh. fusion is the fusion of two lighter nuclei with the release of a large amount of energy. The exact oh. opposite process happens in nuclear fission. Here, huh? a heavier nucleus splits into two lighter nuclei releasing a large amount of energy. Uh -huh. This process of fission is used in nuclear power plants, where a heavy nucleus of uranium is split into lighter nuclei. The energy that is released in this is used to generate electricity. Oh. However, there is a major disadvantage of huh? nuclear fission. Oh. Wondering what it is? Mm. The major disadvantage uh -huh. is that uranium is a radioactive element. No. When uranium mm. undergoes oh. fission, it generates radioactive uh -huh. waste along with energy. This radioactive waste is very harmful for most life forms and the environment. Hence, huh? we need to find oh. a clean and safe source of energy to mm. generate electricity. What source would that be? Would it be nuclear fusion? Bingo, you are right. Then why are we not harnessing the energy of nuclear fusion to produce electricity? This is because for nuclear fusion, two conditions are required. They are high pressure and high temperature. Only when these huh? conditions are met oh. can the two nuclei travel at very high speeds huh? resulting in collision. Mm. Huh? On mm. Earth, huh? it is extremely difficult to create such high pressure huh? and temperature. <laughs> Even if we are somehow able to create these conditions, huh? the question is how will we control them? Oh. As there are many questions huh? unanswered and unsolved, mm? we have not yet mm. succeeded huh? in using nuclear fusion in the production of mm. electricity. Hmm? <laughs> what is a cataract? Huh? It may be a cat's nickname. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, a cataract is an oh. eye disease. How does it form? Wait, I'll explain. Hmm. Each of our eyes consists of a transparent lens. Is it similar to my camera lens? <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. huh? Our eye lens is made up of water and protein. They are arranged in such a way that keeps the lens oh. clear and lets light pass through it. Hence, a sharp image is formed on the retina. Hmm. However, as we age, the protein begins to clump together, making the lens cloudy. Oh. This clouding of our eye's natural lens is called a cataract. In huh? such situations, when light from an object enters our oh. eye, the clumped protein blocks or scatters the light. As a result, a blurred image is formed on the retina thus making it hard to see. Hmm. 
How are smartphones changing us? Ha! No one can change the one and only umsum! Yeah, yeah, you huh? show off. Bending and staring down at our phones for several hours increases the stress on our neck and spine, leading to neck and back pain. Experts refer to this condition as text neck, and it can eventually lead to serious consequences. Also, at night, when we stare at our smartphones, the light emitted from their screens makes our brain think it is still daytime. So, our brain does now produce the sleep hormone melatonin causing us to stay awake for long hours and thus disturbing our circadian rhythm which regulates our everyday bodily functions. This can lead to obesity, diabetes, cancer, etc. An interesting fact is that smartphone addiction has given rise to a new phobia called nomophobia, short for no mobile phone phobia. It is basically the fear or anxiety of being without our phone. Are dolphins smart? Not smarter than me. I'm the smartest of them all. You wish. Dolphins belong to the family of cetaceans, which includes aquatic animals like whales and porpoises. Cetaceans have gradually evolved over millions of years to become the present-day dolphins, which have large, complex brains. Now, coming back to the question, are dolphins smart? The answer is yes. The large complex brains of the dolphins help them perform various functions which are usually not seen in other animals. One of these functions is human-like socializing, which can be seen when bottlenose dolphins form a group to hunt. By beating its tail, a bottlenose dolphin from the group stirs up the seabed and starts to make a circular ring of mud around a shoal of fish. Then, by making the ring smaller and smaller, it traps the shoal of fish. Now, another bottlenose dolphin in the group signals the remaining dolphins to line up around the circle. So, when the confused and trapped fishes try to escape by jumping out of the mud ring, they end up in the dolphin's mouths. In addition to this, although dolphins have eyes to see, they even have the ability to echolocate which can help them navigate better, especially in murky water. To echolocate, dolphins produce high-frequency sound waves which travel through water and get reflected from obstacles as echoes. When these echoes return to the dolphins, they are able to identify the location, shape, etc. of the obstacles. Hence. Using this method, they easily avoid the obstacles and navigate in murky water. Hmm. Moreover, it is also observed that using low-frequency sound, dolphins communicate with each other. They even have signature whistles, like names which they use to call each other. According to a study, it is also believed that dolphins can recognize themselves in the mirror. This quality of physical self-awareness is not usually present in other animals. Topic, human hair. <laughs> Why do we get white hair? Because we cannot get blue hair. No. Our hair is basically made up of keratin, a colorless protein. <laughs> Hence, before our hair comes out of the skin, it is almost white. How's that possible? I had black hair during childhood. Don't worry, I'll explain. Our hair grows from hair follicles. A hair follicle contains melanocytes, which produce melanin. <laughs> melanin is injected in the keratin cells during the growth of our hair. This melanin gives color to our hair. Mm. Now, the color of our hair is dependent on the type of melanin injected. Eumelanin makes our hair black or brown, while pheomelanin makes our hair red or blonde. However, mm. as we grow old, the melanocytes decrease the production of melanin. Thus, less melanin is injected in hair causing them to eventually turn white. Hmm. 